Hello everyone! So as you may know, a tournament happened on Saturday, August 27th. So this video is going to be about my whole experience with it and sharing with you guys my point of view and what I was thinking at the time. So enjoy! Now, the biggest question I had was, what the hell runes, you basically gave away your strategy with your previous videos. How are you going to strategize if people know what you're going to do? Well, to answer that, I'm going to need to explain myself a little bit. There are a multitude of reasons as to why I put out those videos. One of them is to express my greatness to the culling and cull community. Playing this game has never been more rewarding than any other game I've played before, and if I can make a positive impact on someone's experience with the game through my videos, then my goal has been achieved. I feel like I need to get that out there because people think that I'm some sort of egotistical tyrant who thinks he's the best and doesn't care about anyone else playing the game. But that's not the case. <clears throat> but enough of the gushy stuff. The other reason I did that was to steer the meta the way I wanted to. You see, regardless of me putting out those videos, any good player would have been able to analyze the tournament and know what build I most likely had and counterbuild that. So if there was a general consensus to play it safe, then aggressive players could only run certain builds to be able to chase people down and each kill would take longer for them to take and it would be harder for them to snowball. Now, I'm not going to take complete credit for influencing a passive meta. The way the tournament was set up had a lot of say in this too. So let's get into how the tournament worked. If you want an in-depth look as to how the brackets played out, I'll leave a link in the description to One Rain's video. Now, I did allocate an hour of time brainstorming what the best approach to this tournament was. But essentially what I got was that all I needed to do is consistently place 5th and I would be guaranteed a spot in the finale. There were some secondary conditions that I thought about but in the end they were secondary not primary. So the first game I had had an 11th place win condition which is a joke in my eyes. So just a warning, you're not going to see any strong strategic gameplay out of me except for the fact that I'm going to be using this game to convince the other contestants that I don't consistently place first or second, that I'm not a big threat, and that I'm just a noob trapper who just got lucky in the last tournament. So let's get right into the game. Alright, so I spawn here and I go ahead and craft my spear and craft my caltrops. I did spawn at airport so I'm gonna go ahead and make my way over. Um, pick up this funk over here because funk is awesome and I see this green crate at the top and I'm like yeah hey, oh, sweet. Green crates are awesome. I was hoping this would be a weapon but unfortunately it's just a taser and I'm actually not a very big fan of the taser. I feel like the chances of them running woundless is pretty high, so it makes it a uh, pretty much useless thing to have. So I know a guy spawns fairly close to me, and he might actually run straight at me, depending on how he feels like it. So I am trying to loot as fast as I can, and I hear him set off the gas, and I kind of want to see if he wants to fight. So I give him a chase. But he straight books it. He doesn't want anything to do with me. So I was like, oh, okay, then I guess this building is mine. If he doesn't want to fight. And I was thinking, like, this is denying him his building. So I go ahead and take this, even though I haven't finished looting the other building, airport. And I find myself a med kit. And I wasn't really sure what to do with it, but then I find myself two medkits, and I'm like, okay. Well, I've got an effective 240 HP. I'm pretty much full build right now, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to go ahead and start setting up for the center. I have hiding spots elsewhere, too. Now, the thing about showing off hiding spots in videos is that when you're playing in game it doesn't actually matter if you know my hiding spots because you don't know which hiding spot I'm using so either 
You're going to check every single little corner that I could possibly be using. And it's just going to be such a huge waste of time for you. But yeah. So, yeah, I go ahead and stash both my medkits here. And I still need to go loot airport. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and head back over. I do keep the bandage with me because bandages like, could save your life in a fight. And unfortunately there's this guy here who's decided to loot the airport and I wanted to see if I could uh, fight him but unfortunately he activates the gas. So I wasn't willing to chase that. He probably got most of those loot in the building. And yeah, I guess it's time for me to just uh, chill at mid because I don't really need anything. I got my both my bed kits and uh, a bandage. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and craft these put these into snares because snares are allow you to get free backstab but yeah go ahead and place them in in the water here very sneaky these compared to the steel snares they're a lot more visible so there's that oh, I go ahead and make myself a uh, satchel because I don't plan on calling in my airdrop this game so I'm gonna need some sort of inventory space so I can be more efficient at um, holding items and whatnot. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a bow. Because you always want to have a bow when you start trapping up. That way if they start contesting you have some sort of pressure to get free damage on them while they crouch through their traps or try to damn or de destroy your traps. So yeah, now I'm just uh, double checking my medkits. They're, they're still there. Obviously it's 20 minutes into the game, nobody has said hi to me yet. I go ahead and check this uh, funk thing, it's already been taken, obviously. And I just make my round along the island, try to find myself uh, free sticks and whatnot. I go ahead and op walk into that building there for B5 funk. Yeah, and I go ahead and use up every rock and stick that I can find. And the idea is just to spam Caltrops until the game ends. One of the, the advantages of playing like this is that since you're basically at mid, if any event happens, especially loot pinata, you're guaranteed to have it. 100% because you're gonna be the first one here. Now I was pretty surprised that this guy showed up at mid because it's like way too early uh, for somebody to be just uh, messing around with me. But yeah, I do see he has brass knuckles and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna come near you. You're gonna do a shit ton of damage. But he didn't have a bow himself, so I was like, that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna bow you to death if you keep trying to contest this. And he realizes that, so he just uh, books it. I do see a guy over here with his airdrop, and I'm like, yo, bro, uh, can I have that? Did you mess up your airdrop? So I go ahead and uh, see if he wants to fight. He doesn't. Um, then I realize, oh shit, he's got a tier 2 spear and orange juice. I'm gonna go ahead and keep running away. And he probably realized that this guy has traps somewhere, so I'm not about it. But he goes ahead and books it as well. But honestly, he could have killed me if he really wanted to, because he had crafted armor as well, and he had he just had he was just geared to fight. But yeah, uh, with all my cow chops around everywhere and my traps, I could have probably stalled him, and it probably wouldn't have been good for him to make that much noise and chase me for such a long time. Uh, so yeah, just gonna go ahead and keep making more cow chops. The more cow chops I make, the better. I do hear fighting over here, so I was like, oh, let me let me check that out. I wanna I want some of this action. And I see this guy and I'm like, yo bro, let's take some free damage. And I'm like, oh shit. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. And I go ahead and dance around with him for a bit. Go ahead and and uh get as much free damage as I can. And yeah, I was really down to take this fight until I hear this guy behind me and I'm like, yo. I am not about to be vultured, alright? And he decides to start taking the fight. And I'm like, yo, I want this kill. You like? And I go ahead and take that kill. X Skull and I believe that's Big Tim. X Skull with the big hit. Oh, and Rudes with the steal, the KS out of nowhere, the vulturing for, for Rudes coming in and stealing that kill. I believe he got it. Yes, he did. Wow.
Tim did all the work with his orange juice. He's still. Now, I do see that he still has OJ up, so I don't want to fight him, but yeah. I went ahead and got that kill for myself, and I guess it's now back to trapping for me. Now, uh, you do want to get rid of as many explosive barrels close to your area, because that denies people from crafting crafted explosives, and refilling their guns, and it's a plus 5 bunk. So if you use an arrow, you actually gain four arrows. I see this airdrop here and I go ahead and try and shoot at it. I'm really bad at doing this, but you know, it's good to get some practice, you know, because uh, if you do get good at that, man, you'll be unstoppable. Taking those airdrops down denies somebody of their airdrop. So all the time they spend gathering junk in that game is just wasted. And if you get it, like, whew, imagine that was like, I tried it or something, man, that would've been great for me. But yeah, just flies right ahead, and now it's time for me to craft armor, because it is 15 minutes and 25 seconds into the game, and people are probably going to start uh, coming in and making their bases, contesting mine. So yeah, and I get stuck in this tree here, but no problem. And it's time to make another set of wall drops. So, I go ahead and just keep spamming them in the middle, because more cow traps in the middle is more fun for me. And I am at 93 HP, so I do want to top off on health, so that's what I'm going to go do. These are actually my cow traps. And I make my way back over to the island that I have basically claimed, and yeah, just another set of cow traps. So I go ahead and check mid and see how the coverage is. It looks pretty good. So I go ahead and place my cow traps here. Um, this cow trap placement is just placed there so that one, it's unexpected. Two, you can't really see it. And three, it gives me more options to kite wear. Yeah, I go ahead and just keep making more cow traps. Maybe I should have done a counter for how many cow traps I actually placed here. Um, but yeah, I just like kind of want to make a line straight from mid to this uh, corridor here so I can just run straight through it um, sometime later. Especially when the gas closes in all the way, it'll be great. Now I do see this backpack here and I was like, wow, free present for me? I'll take it. Thank you very much. I wish I had seen that so much sooner, but yeah, uh, better late than never. And having this radar is going to allow me to go ahead and make my bungee sticks, make my gas grenades, and we'll be good to go. I really like bungee sticks. Um, the fungi sticks caltrops combo because it's like the best of both worlds like caltrops will never well uh yeah fungi sticks are easily destroyed caltrops aren't like by melee but it covers more ground than caltrops does and also it's more intimidating than caltrops because they're more visible so for you to place them down it's just nice and another uh, gas choking activate so I was like alright well that's 25 funk if you activate it so I'm taking it and yeah maybe it might get a couple of kills maybe it won't choking sucks that's what I think um yeah I go ahead and uh, store out my med kit somewhere else because the gas is closing in so I want to relocate them and I go ahead and put them in this corner here now this corner is pretty visible to uh, players actually and it's actually a very um, common hiding spot for players to be found so placing my med kits here will actually uh, put them at high risk but I don't really mind and I was trying to figure out who the heck shot an arrow at me but I'm pretty sure it came from behind me I go ahead and start crafting more arrows because I know uh, stuff's about to go down I go ahead and stash my second med kit on the same spot now that I think about it, I should probably move my med kits in different spots so that if one is found, I can just go to the second one. But also, like, just remembering, like, where you put everything is also very much of a challenge. And holy shit, I got absolutely destroyed by shooting long range bows. I mean, I have no idea where it came from. Like, I knew somebody was shooting at me, but. Like, I kind of just thought that they would just miss all their shots because they felt like it was really far away. 
And after that, I was like, oh crap. Uh, yeah. Let's just uh, let's just uh, not do this right now, all right? So I'm just gonna run away from him and try to get him to like get bored of me. And I throw the stick at him because I'm like, yo, just just don't do it, man. And yeah. And I use this jump corner to disengage the fight, but he still wants to fight. And I'm like, oh great. Uh, uh, what do I do? What do I do, man? He's not gonna leave me alone, is he? And I'm just kinda chilling here, and I really want my medkit right now, that's what I want. But he's standing where my medkit is, so I have to get him to move away from it, so... I'll run this way, and then I'll circle around, and he gets a hit on me, and I'm like, shit, oh crap, I'm like really close to that. Oh crap, I can't get my medkit. Uh, uh, oh shit. Oh, please walk into my snare? Maybe? Maybe? No? Okay, I'm just gonna just throw my gas grenade. It was absolutely useless there. And I'm still trying to get my med kit because I really want it. But then I chicken out and I decide to run this way. I'm like, yo, this thing will protect me. But it doesn't, so I'm like, oh crap. Uh, alright. And there's my, there's my scream of disappointment being hunted down by a bowman. So yeah, that was my game for the placement matches, and I'll see you guys later.